Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome family and welcome to the family if you are new. So today I wanted to make um, a new segment or a new addition um, about Libras. I'm a Libra moon, sun and moon, right? And this is going to be called uh, Libras Cafe. So welcome to Libras Cafe here on the hourglass so this may resonate if you have placements in sun moon rise and even cusp in libra you could have other placements in your chart as well all right so today i'm going to be serving you with clear simple refreshing useful energetic insights on themes and trends that may be occurring in your libra life all right libra so let's hop into it being that we're still in that mercury retrograde i want to discuss about what we libras need to work on so we could move forward in life and have this abundance you guys my big baby is in the room uh he's chilling in the bathroom right now because it's warmer in there i just came from uh repampering myself blow drying my hair cleaning out my roots all right so he's in there so if you have any kind of um sudden barks that's my baby i'm a proud pitbull mom you guys hats off to the pitbull community all right it's not the breed baby it's the owner so don't get it twisted all right, my baby is very gentle, but he can be very protective of his family. So, you know what it is. All right, so let's see what Libra needs to really pay attention to in this Mercury retrograde, you guys. You know, we, Libras are very uh, misunderstood signs, and I feel very compelled to start this segment. I mean, it actually been on my mind for a very long time, but I actually got this new bracelet. I hope you guys could see it. And when I got the bracelet, it was a gift. It's gifted to me. So I was like, oh my God, this is confirmation that I really do need to start Libra's Cafe here on the hourglass. <laughs> Go and pick up yourself in the comment box if you are a Libra, sun, moon, and rising, or even cusp. You don't have to be. You may be dealing with a Libra, so you may be cross-watching. Howdy! <laughs> so I want to speak from a feminine point of view because that's how I'm comfortable. But I will try to really... um touch on both um genders all right so keep in mind all the messages may or may not resonate time energy is fluid so this may be past present or even future events or energies all right you guys and if you don't resonate maybe this is not this is not the video for you i do have many other um videos on my playlist that uh really touches on the twin flame journey as well all right so here we go beloved tell us what libra needs to be aware of oh my gosh creativity uh sound and solar plex chakra thank you beloved so that little splash you guys know me i pay very attention to the way my cards operate and with any type of splashes whether it's a big splash or a little splash a tiny splash i pay attention so libras this is a lot of blue we all know that's the uh, the throat chakra so some of you may be very quiet at this time or being silent about your endeavors, your creativities, your passion. Some of you are using your imagination. I know for a fact that Libra's secret weapon is imagination. We just have that eye. We have that vision where we could easily... Um, uh, uh, easily see patterns and prints in different things. Holla if you know what I'm talking about. So I definitely feel like you guys are being very original right now, even though some of you may be very quiet, holding back um, what you have to say. Some of you are very much uh, listening to a lot of music. Some of you may be saddened at this time is what I'm getting. And listening to uh, sad or depressing music makes you feel good. Um, if you guys want to vent, uh, all my information is in the description box below, all right? If you want to talk, I'm here to listen. I do check my emails every day, every two days um, as well, all right? So um, what I'm seeing here, Libra, is we have a lot of threes. And I have been picking up a lot of threes um, over the weekend as well. Okay, Libra. Yeah. And then we have the solar plex. So some of you may be blocked in your solar plex or it may be activated at this time. So what is the solar plex for some of you that does not know? So the solar plex um, chakra deals with your self-esteem, your confidence, your worth, your self-worth, and also your personal boundaries. It's about taking action and feeling no regrets about it. We have a six hair talking about love or balance. Um, this could also be in your self-love practices. So you guys are really confident or you guys may be having that goldish aura where 
you're very powerful at this time. Some of you may be um, underdeveloped at this time and you may be feeling low self-esteem due to, uh, could be the planetary energies. It could be the situation that you're going through. And speaking about personal boundaries is what's crowning your uh, read today. So some of, you, some of you Libras really need to put up those healthy personal boundaries. You need to make a choice and go with it. I know as a Libra at times we could be very indecisive. It takes us a while to come to a decisive um, decision and stick with it. And that's because we're constantly weighing the pros and cons. We're constantly changing our, our mind because it's new information that comes in. It's something new that adds to our process system that makes us want to swing to a different answer because of the new information. All right. Some people perceive a Libras as fake and indecisive, and that's just false judgment. We really take into consideration the information, the facts, and how we feel and how others feel about the situation you Guys, again, I've seen a lot of originality and being your authentic self. Somebody here is breaking into this new dynamic of self. I feel it here in my stomach. I feel like you guys are very confident in your passions, in expressing yourself. Some of you may play instruments or you may be involved with someone that's a musician. Um, you may be picking up the earth's uh, energy or frequency as well. So some of you may be a visionary. Some of you may be psychic medium, teritos like myself. So you're really picking up on some type of rhythm here through silence. Some of you could be really um, in isolation as well, working on that solar plex blockages if you do have it. Some of you just came out of relationships that kind of chipped away at your confidence, that left you powerless. And I'm seeing that you're beginning to... Um, work on that on your self image as well or that may be a result of working on your solar plex chakra your uh your image is starting to really show you maybe dressing nice smelling nice you go ahead libra you know how we do it we love rich food we love um we have like a very extravagant and luxurious taste and um we just deserve it you know we libras deserve it <laughs> we're very good at what we do also some of you may be a perfectionist in your job or you just have this eye for detail and it causes uh, a little silent competition with other tests. So beware of that. I do feel to tell you, uh, whoever this resonates with that you really need to pay attention to the way that you speak. Uh, I know a lot of Libras come off as condescent or know-it-all. So you really need to check how you communicate with others. Make sure that you're not... Um, belittling others by accident or in a, a very your tone so just be careful of the tone of voice that you're using here all right libra you know i love you libras you know i love you libras <laughs> yeah so some of you so i wanted to say too when you're putting up your personal boundaries you know have be some type of flex have some type of flexibility sometimes when we put up walls we tend to shut out the good and at times we accept the bad and we don't even know that we blocked we locked it in with us trying to protect ourselves this could also be the good and bad within self it doesn't necessarily mean the people around you you also have to really check yourself libra all right Some of you are moving incognito or in some type of mysterious way, or people feel like you're being mysterious or you're holding back here, Libra. Who are these people, Libra? Big up yourself down in the comment box if you know what I'm talking about. All right, so uh, threes and triangles has been uh, really coming out to me a lot, you guys. And let me just read some notes that I did jot down that I found over the weekend with triangles. Um, all right, so... So triangles may have a lot to do with law, science, and religion. So some of you may be uh, really researching those topics at this time. Uh, you know, threes is all about trinity. It's all about self-discovery and revelations. So again, I did feel like some of you are... Um, breaking open this new dynamic or this new aspect of yourself and it's kind of preoccupying your time. Some, some of you could be um, celibate or not really turned on sexually right now because you're so focused is what I'm getting. Yeah, so let's continue with the tarot. Some of you may have just uh, got over some type of obstacle or struggle here and it's now you're practicing this healthy boundary. But it's almost like you're expecting someone to contact you or follow you here 
many of you are having men, uh, tr many different uh, mini transformations or enlightenment revelations as well. Beloved, what's going on here with this creativity card? Beloved, what's going on here with this creativity card? All right, so there's going to be some type of progress here. Again, I feel with the Seven of Wands, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, you could have some placements in your chart, or you could be dealing with this person who seems to be juggling you and others, or juggling um, you and whatever they have going on in life. I do feel like you're protecting this person, protect you're protecting your energy from this person because they seem to be off balance. They seem to be very goofy or I feel like you're losing respect for someone that's going teeter totter, even though you tend to do the same thing. I also feel like you may have some type of silent uh, competition that's around you that you may not be aware of, but you're picking it up energetically and it's kind of like making you imbalanced. It's like you're picking up... Um, like hostile energy and you're not knowing where it's coming from. So you may be involved in a large group at work. You may have a large family. You may have um, this group that you associate with and you could feel this, this hostile energy of somebody wanting to fight you, compete with you. And you're trying to figure out who the hell is this? All right. Your creativity again may be on point. You, it may be heightened and peak and it's like, is causing um, a lot of suitors to pursue you and you're kind of confused on what is the best option for you. It could be between fire signs and Virgos. Uh, I said Virgo, but it, it also could be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or earth signs, all right? So you're probably trying to stay very grounded in your actions when it comes to your originality as well. One more card, please, beloved. But you're not, someone here is not on stable ground. Could be, again, another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like strong Virgo, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This could also be your energy where you're really paying attention to your assets, your job, your entrepreneurship, your pa your passions. I feel like you have one or two hobbies or you have one or two uh, online businesses and you're really paying attention um, to the progression of it. And you're kind of going back and forth on some type of improvement here tell me more about sound beloved what is this sound okay so we have the king of cups so you may be very well um emotional right now or the person that you're dealing with may be very emotional they may be trying to connect with you through music through some type of lyrics so a particular song that keeps replaying in your mind a particular um lyrics that you keep hearing somebody's trying to contact you or trying to reach out to you i feel like it's um a fire sign with earth energy so they may be very much into the materialistic world this person may be all about their money it could flip flop this could be a virgo with fire this person could have been very defensive towards the connection towards you not wanting to open up or be too vulnerable they may have had you at an arm's length as well I feel like this person, both of you are very uh, creative, artistic, love the same type of music, a lot of similarities here, but somebody's not wanting to show you, um, they're not wanting to communicate verbally just how much uh, they really care. I feel like they have a certain way of showing you that they like you, but you have no idea how deep these emotions is. Again, the genders could flip-flop. The energies could flip-flop. This may be you not wanting to speak up. You could be sending this person messages through music and they're paying attention they could hear you loudest when you're silent. So this person, you're silent or their silence may be very annoying. You have some type of telepathic communication that's going on here. All right, so you guys may be vibrating on the same heart frequency. I feel like this person likes to hear you talk. All right, so we have three kings here. What's going on with the you, Libra? <laughs> All right, so again, I felt like you have three different personalities that's trying to pursue you. This could be exes that's coming back into this Mercury retrograde, maybe not, but you may be picking up their energy. So they may be um, stalking you. They may be on your profile every day, but I see three kings here. It doesn't have to be kings. It could be queens for my Libra males. 
is what I'm getting. So I definitely feel like um, somebody's holding on to the past uh, with you and somebody else is in the emotion. This could also be one person as well that's embodying all of these energies and it's making them imbalanced because they don't know how to really uh, control or master um, these different energies that you may be triggering in them through your originality, your self-expression, um, they may also be using their imagination when it comes to you as well. So we have the five of swords. This may be someone that um, kind of like competition for you. All right. Or this may be three different male or females that's in competition for you. Um, I do feel like this one of these characters or, or personalities, energies may be a mind ma manipulator or played a lot of mind games with you. Or they're playing a mind game with you or they think that you're playing mind games with them. Anyhow, somebody did walk away from this connection. It may have had too many people involved or they may be giving up feeling like it's too many people that want your attention. So they're just going to stay in their corner uh, and do things and hopefully you would uh, be attracted to, to them, to their way. Somebody definitely walked away here. All right, they walk away to meditate, they walk away to regroup. They just couldn't handle these mind games. I feel like somebody's very competitive as well with you. All right, so judgment here with the solar plex chakra. Hmm. So judgment and a judgment card talks about Scorpio cancer energy again emotions hey so somebody's definitely thinking outside the box or feeling uh different from what they normally feel coming out of their comfort zone uh some of you may be um going through a natural disaster maybe a flooding happened something was flooded out or purged out i feel like somebody definitely wants your attention libra but again you feel like it's some type of mind game that's going on here i feel like they want to change the dynamic of um you guys's connection or friendship or situationship take it how it resonates it's like they feel the flow or they felt the rhythm the vibration of whatever you guys have going on change due to some type of silence no communication because of these mind games the manipulation Someone, it was making someone off balance hey, and they could not, no longer tolerate it. For some of you Libras, you have uh, an earth sign, a water sign, and a fire sign that's like really focusing on you. And you could actually pick that energy up. You, you guys, Libra, I'm guided to say that protect your energy with the seven of wands. These people have a tendency of draining you or point too much emotional uh, strain on you could be this fire sign that wants change but doesn't they they want to change but it's almost like they don't they feel like you're manipulating them into a change so they get defensive these three different energies these three different kings or queens they want what you want libra but they feel like you're manipulating them into it or they felt that way in the past and they're now they just now having this revelation possibly through a particular song um they could be writing a song about you and they, it's like almost like they're going to promote it or broadcast it to hopefully get your attention For some of you, you call judgment on this situation with these three people or this third party, what was going on. Yeah. <laughs> three of Cups. I just mentioned third party and it came out. And then we have five, uh, Four of Pentacles. So um, I heard spread the love Libra or somebody wants you to pay attention to them. They may be dead set on you, locked on you. I feel like this may be one person, so they may be all about their money or they're having some type of money struggle here where they're very unstable. And this is why they're defensive um, towards you, not wanting to open up and share because they're having money issues. So they may have presented themselves as an entrepreneur, somebody that's really on top of their money game, but that not that may not be the case. And this is where you found the manipulation of the mind games that's coming from. So instead of being very honest about their their life status they decided to play a lot of mind games a lot of manipulation 
had you kind of off balance, had this whole thing off balance. They kind of come off like a fool, like not knowing what they want, yet their emotions, um, they hear, they feel you in every song that they hear, or they listen to music that reminds them of you. And I feel like they're holding on to whatever this was. Some of them uh, may be, they may be holding all the cards when it comes to the progression of this relationship. The ball might be in their court, but it's almost like they lack confidence here because you may have put up a personal boundary, um, maybe due to disrespect of the mind games and the manipulation. So it's like um, they're kind of frustrated. They're not happy with how things are, but they want to connect. All right. They want to have, um, they want to celebrate life with you. They want to go out and have fun. They may also want to take you out to discuss making things a little bit more stable or solid. This person might have to tell you, um, a truth about children or baby hair. Somebody may have found out that a baby is not theirs and they want to, it's almost like, they may have run into an issue with playing mind games. So all the time that they kept you at arm's length, playing mind games, they may have had an issue with a child. And now that they're finding out that the child may not be theirs, they may want to come forward. It's like they have been released from... Um, what was I going to say? It's like they've been released from... I was going to say a sentence. So this person may have went to jail and now... Uh, things have cleared up. Something that was restricting them. It's like they're breaking free out of it. And it has something to do with a child. Um, this could be a three-month-old baby, a nine-month-old baby. And it's like they want um, forgiveness also. They want their reconciliation. They want to be united. They're holding on to this thought, um, this love. Tell me more. Yeah, so we have two plus four, which is six of pentacles. Two, <laughs> two pentacles plus four pentacles is six pentacles. I feel like they want to be more generous with their time, with their money, or they want that um, re um, reciprocity, re reciprocation. Re <laughs> I'm getting, uh, my tongue is heavy. Reciprocation. They want that reciprocation. They want to be, je um, not jealous, they want to be generous. They're holding on to some type of dream, some type of um, fantasy here, you guys. But, you know, yeah. So we have the Ace of Swords. They want to talk or they want to explain the why they played so many mind games. Or they want to cut away this mind games. It's like judgment was called. Maybe you confronted this person or you told them about themselves. The truth came out. And it kind of cut out a third party or it cut it kind of severed ties in this communication but they're still holding on they're still holding on to the thought i feel like this person had when they had um the funds or the energy or the affections they did not um they held back when it came to you they may have gave it to someone else and gotten in a in another situation a third party so they may have been juggling you and someone else this may be your energy libra but they may have been juggling someone else and did not tell you and this is where the defensive attitude came from that block that restriction the limits came from the mind games the manipulation and now that they had that judgment call and that situation they may be free they may have cut that situation away as what i'm getting let's see on the bottom of the deck Eight of Cups, yeah. So, you know, maybe when you put up your boundaries and you limit this person from having access to, to you, it caused them to walk away or they're walking away from a situation that they left you for. They may be even practicing what you did to them. So if, if it was a case that you found out um, that there was a third party or a third party influence and you called judgment, you confronted it, um, you let this person know what it was. Because I feel like you stand up for yourself with the solar plex chakra or you need to stand up for yourself. You need to have the courage because you're not powerless. Um, 
This person might have an inferior complex as well. But whatever it is, I feel like you're going to take a stand and you're going to speak your truth and it's going to cause a, a judgment call on this union. All right. Or this person needs to speak their truth so it could cause a reconciliation or it could bring in a reconciliation, but they're holding back. They have more than enough. I feel like this person is very selfish as well. So they may be wanting their cake and eating it too. And um, you may have communicate that to them and walked away, putting up that personal boundaries. All right. You knew it was going to be hard to leave this person, but you did it anyway. And you're ready to um, confront these obstacles, these, these struggles on your way out. So they may have thought that you wouldn't have leave Libra and it kind of like caused them to reflect on their money habits, their emotions and their actions, their spirit. Yeah, you reflect. So when you started to empower yourself and be more assertive in your life, you shine the light on the things that they needed to work on, which was their money game, their emotions and the way how they conduct themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So when you walked away, um, you left them confused. You left them with the confusion, you guys. <laughs> wow. So let's get... Oh, my, my cards are all scattered up there. All right, so let's get some um, cards from the Romance deck. I hope you're enjoying this reading so far libra if you are if you do please go ahead and big up yourself in the comment box like subscribe and share thank you all thank you all for sharing my videos you guys have no idea how um stoked i am right now <laughs> some of you may be 35 33 34 a lot of threes hey you guys Somebody who definitely wants change. They want to know um, if you're going to come back to them. I feel like a lot of people have walked away from this person because of these games that they played. And they're having that judgment call in their life. They're figuring it, they're figuring it out now. They're having a revelation. Things in their life may be um, held back from them. Or they're starting to see how much this... Uh, this love meant to them. Yeah, it's still a lot of passion here for you, Libra. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I feel like they're waiting for you to turn back around and come towards them with your bubbly, loving, passionate self. It's like they want to still have fun with you. It's like they still want to have fun with you. I feel like this person may be at, at a distance, but they're doing things for your attention. I feel like you stir a lot of emotions in them. And when you left, when you walk away or you put these boundaries up, um, it causes this person to really feel how much love and passion. Well, I'm not going to say love yet. I feel like they really do feel that passion with you. All right. You do uh, open this person's heart chakra as well. Or you, you guys vibrate on the same heart frequency. But because this person mind games and manipulation, it causes things to cut, you cut away or sever. free yourself yeah so you may have freed yourself from this person because they may have multiple personality disorders as well or they're just not connected they're not they're just not balanced inside they're very imbalanced so they may have to work on some family issues as well with the judgment card again i felt like there's a child involved there's a child involved this person could have multiple baby mamas this person could have multiple baby daddies and this is why you freed yourself because it was like a circus. You know, you was getting hurt even though you're so magical and unique. This person knows that. They understand the passion that you guys share. But they are wrapped up in some type of drama-filled life where they need to play these mind games and manipulation. They're in survival mode with the two of pentacles and the four of pentacles. So they may be having to give all to others and you have you seem to be the last one on the list and you seem to get tired of it you know you're tired of that bullshit 
and you got the courage and you found your self-worth to put up those boundaries and walk away. It was all right, but it was not fulfilling and you freed yourself. Uh, it's time to take back control of your life, Libra. So this is, again, this reading is about what Libras need to work on, what, what things that we really need to pay attention to. So this is someone that could possibly have multiple um, personalities. Uh, this person could also be this, the, how the cards, the combination of cards is showing me that this person is reflecting on their money, um, their financial uh, stability. They're reflecting on their emotional stability and their spirit or spiritual emotional stability. I feel like, um, again, they do have a lot of passion for you. They feel a lot. Of, they feel very sexy with you or you're very sexy, very sexual in nature. Um, being with you maybe boost their confidence, boost their ego. The things that you did in bed with them made them feel more than what they really are is what I'm getting for some of you. <laughs> calling calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmation, and visualizations help bring you together. So we have that with the crown in cards. And what that telling me is that, Libra, you may be hiding out behind your walls. Um you practicing your self care, practicing your self care, being more empowered, choosing things that benefit your health, your growth, and you're being more authentic. And they notice that after you walk away. So um, you may not have been this person per se. You may have been hiding your um, your true self from this person because you know this person may have had insecurities. You may know that this person has issues with family members. It says your love life be benefits as you forgive your parents. So you may have been addicted to this person or attached to this person due to some uh, emotional traumas or unhealed wounds. And now that you have empowered yourself, you have uh, detached from this third party situation or from this connection because you heal that part of yourself that was attached to this person and now that you're doing that you're living your life from a more soul purpose or soul driven they're starting to um pay attention holding on to the old you possibly holding on to the old expectations they had of you all right again i feel like this person or you may be going through some child issues or childhood issues some of you um miss your child or that you miss the kid in you you're getting back to that kid in you is what i'm feeling all right you guys i do feel again like this person is trying to get your attention they have had the enlightenment the revelation that this may be a, a situation that they want to keep holding on to a connection that they want to keep holding on to again you make them feel that joy <coughs> And just to think about it, you guys, joy, energy, or frequency is higher than love, all right? So if you go and check that out, that joy frequency is way higher than love also. So you bring a lot of life. You bring a lot of color to this person. Again, you boost this person's confidence and ego. You may be very pretty, very popular. You may be someone that a lot of people want, and you have chosen this person, but they could not live up to your expectation, or they felt some type of insecurity because of who you are. And they start to play some mind games here and somebody cut it off and walk away or kind of limit themselves with this person, Libra, you or this person. Take it how it resonates. Again, you guys, if you did enjoy the content, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're interested in a personal reading, do check out the description box below. Also, if you want to contribute to the channel, keeping it fresh with new decks, keeping it new, that this, that uh, details is in the description box also as well. All right. So chat to you later. Ciao.